section B uh, here at the page of 150 okay okay so if you look over here mark right for the polygon and false for non polygon so if you look over here which one should, uh, what is going to be uh, the, 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 the meaning of polygon it must what straight what does it mean by polygon? Apa maksud polygon? Ah. It must consist of first of all must be straight line. Yang pertama mesti garis lurus. Okay. So of course the first one over here number one A one here is it? It it is not a polygon. Why? Why is not a polygon? Because ah, it has curved line over here. This one not a polygon. Okay? Okay, what else we know about our polygon? It's going to be closed figure. Maksudnya, kalau kita ada, if we have straight line, but it's not close. Like that. Uh, uh, still not a polygon okay so if you look at the second uh, diagram here is it a polygon yes or no no yes it is a polygon it is a polygon ha cikgu nampak macam apa kilat je <laughs> okay ha uh, it is a polygon why because everything there is a straight line and also, it is a closed figure, isn't it? Ah. Ah, of course lah. Our third one there. It is, it is a polygon. Even though this one gives you one mark. Okay. So, if you get one of it is wrong. Ah, so, no marks for that. Okay. We straight go to, because we have two period only, I... Try my best to cover our section B and C. If we have time, we go for section section C. Okay. Match the correct pair. Okay, if you look over here. Okay, negative 8 more than negative 12. It is true or false? Yes, it is true. Okay, this one is true. Oh, they false too. So straight away, false, false. Ah, uh, tenang je. Eh. False and false. Either one lah. Okay. Boleh nak letak terbalik pun tak ada masalah situ. Okay, next one. Number two. Ah, uh, this is uh what we have over here. A and B are two relationships with fifteen. Where X and Y are the part of the relation. Okay. What is the relation we have over here? Is a fact. Factor, isn't it? Factor. Okay. So, 3 times 5, we get 15. 15 times what to get uh, 15? 1, isn't it? So, obviously, we don't have 1 there. Isn't it? Isn't it? So, we are going to put A here as what? Uh, A pula. X here can be 1. Can be 1 here. Okay? X can be 1. Okay. Ah, wait, 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 wait. For the A here is going to be all the factor. For B here will be what? 15, 30, 45, 75. What is that? What does it mean by B here? Come again. All are? All are number, odd numbers. Are you sure odd numbers? 30 is not odd numbers. Ah, this one, uh, for the relation for B there, is going to be our... Multiple of 15, isn't it? Multiple of 15, isn't it? 
15 times 1, 15, 15 times 2, 30, 15 times 3, 45, 15 times 4, 75. So the relationship for B here is going to be multiple of 15. The uh, A here is going to be our fact, factor of factor of our uh, 15. Okay, so X here is going to be 1. Y going to be what? Huh. Ayo, how come 7 times what to get 15? Girls, how to get 15? 1 times 15, 3 times 5. So means that, which one is going to be your X here? Which one is going to be your Y? Hello, 6 times what to get 15? Yeah, this is your Y. 15. Factor, factor. This one, you bagi tahu ada dua hubungan with 15. So, there are going to be A, the relationship of A here. The question is asking, state the value. State the, identify the relation. So, for A here, it's going to be, we have 3 and 5. What does it mean by 3 and 5 from 15? It's going to be our factor of 15. How did we get factor of 15? 1 times 15, 15, 3 times 15, 5 is going to be 15. Any other number that can get 15? No. So the answer here will be X is 1, Y is 15. Yes. Just now. We know that A here is going to be, the relation here is going to be the factor of 15. How about B? Multiple of 15. That's what you are going to put at our uh, answer here. First one, A. Why is that? Our factor of 15. What is B? Ah, multiple of 15. X just now is 1. Y is 15. Can girls? Okay. Oh, straight away. Section C. Finish our section B already. Huh? Come again? Cikgu ada lagi. Oh, ya, 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 ya. Sorry. Number three. Oh, ada. Okay, okay. Next. Okay. Mark for correct solution and false for wrong solution. Okay. So if you look at here, if x square minus y or divided by two equals to three. Then x equals to six plus y. Uh, power of 1 over 2. Hmm. True or false? If it is not true, it is false. If it is not false, it is true. <laughs> so what is the answer? True? False? <laughs> not sure. Okay. What does the question means over here? Okay. It means that the first question here is asking for us to do what? To make our X here become our... Our number. Only X on the left side. The other we are going to bring to the right side. Cannot understand? Cannot. Okay. I'm going to have over here because I don't have what? I don't have the space here. I need to bring it to the other side. Okay. Let me bring it. Uh, this one, even though the questions here, uh, what we call? The, 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 the questions here is just state for you. Uh, true or false, but still we need to 
identify. Okay. First question. Okay. If x square minus y over 2 equals to 3, we are going to identify whether it's true or not that when we have x on the left side over here, we are going to get everything here. Okay. So what happened? First thing first. Okay, let me explain, please. Okay, so if I want to make sure that X is on our left side here, what should we do first? We are going to bring 2 to the left side, uh, to the right side. Divide, become time. So, we are going to write back X squared minus Y equals to 6. Right? Okay, next. What should we do? We are going to bring negative y to the right side. Negative become positive or uh, minus become plus. So you are going to write back x square equals to 6 plus y. Am I right? Okay. Next. We are going to bring what? We are going to bring our ah, square here. So the relation, if divide become times, if minus become plus, if square, square root. So you are going to have over here what? You are going to get x equals to square root of 6 plus y, isn't it? But, ah, if you look at the equations there, is it correct? <laughs> Straight away No What does it mean by indices of 1 over 2 The power of 1 over 2 Ah, this one is power This one is going to be our square Square root of What? Cube roots, isn't it? Ah, this one square pula This is going to be our roots Sorry uh, roots Can Betul tak? Okay, so over here If you look We can have what? You can have the answer here X equals to 6 plus Y 1 over 2 So, your answer should be what? Yes The first one over here You are going to get uh, This one, dia suruh buat apa? Uh, right saja True Understand ah. Okay Second one Okay, given X minus Y ah, X minus Y equals to 8 And we have over here 2X minus Y equals to 10 Then ah. We are going to have the value of x over here will be negative, negative 2. True or false? Oh, straight away false, huh? Ah. Oh, they must say slow sleep. Analogy, analogy. <laughs> okay, we are going to make sure. Is it true x equals to negative 2? Okay, so how? What did we have over here? Morning. What did we have over here, girls? What is this? Just now, we have an equation. This one, we have two equations. So what? The first one is going to be our first equation. This is going to be our second equation. Means what? We are going to find to find the value of x and y. So how? How many methods you you can have for this uh, to three? Yes. The first method, of course, you don't like by using by using graph. Graph method, you can have this one Where you can have the inter 
intersection. Uh, obviously, we are go not going to do that one. But that one is going to be one of our method to solve for two linear equation here. The second method will be substitution. The third method will be elimination. So, up to you. If the question didn't mention or didn't ask you to do uh, the particular method, so it's up to you. Uh, if you are saying, oh, I like to uh, to use elimination, so proceed. If you are saying, oh, I like to do the substitution, proceed. Which one is going to be the easy one? Eliminate. Elimination. Over here, I am going to say elimination. Why? Because if you look over here, this one negative y, this one negative y, isn't it? Yeah. So I can eliminate this one straight away. How? Uh. How? Easy to talk. <laughs> huh. You are saying that you are going to eliminate uh, y, isn't it? So how we are going to eliminate y? Divided. Are you sure divided? Bukan nak aduh. The intonasi itu penting. Come again? Yes. Your friend says we are going to pass together the two of our equation over here. Why didn't we uh hey, plus get on? Negative y plus negative y. Negative y minus negative um, uh, minus y. You are going to get negative two y. Sorry, it's going to be minus. Thank you very much for asking. Okay, let me let me explain. Okay, girls, girls. Ah, uh, ni macam mana nak exam ni cikgu? Okay. You are saying, uh, what you are saying just now? You are saying plus, isn't it? Okay. So, I'm taking the negative y. Negative y plus with negative y. You are saying yet that you are going to eliminate y, isn't it? So, what happened here? Negative. You are going to get what? Negative y Negative y. Are you going to eliminate y? No. You are going to have negative 2y. So we cannot use what? Plus. Cannot. So means that we are going to do minus uh, negative y minus negative y. So what happened over here? Negative, negative become positive. You are going to get negative y plus y. So now eliminate already. Ah. Can? Ah. Girls, this method you are going to have it back. Uh, in your form 4 and form 5 Upper form later Okay uh, Okay So We are going to do what? Our second equation Plus with our first equation Isn't it? Okay so Plus 2x plus x Yes good We are going to get 3x Negative y plus with excuse me minus lah sir sorry. Hey, kan yang ni kita nak ambil kan? Kan kan kan? Ah minus minus sorry. Okay, I repeat back. Two x two x minus x x. Negative y minus with negative y you got already zero. No need to do anything for y equals to 10 minus 8 2 Is it correct with what did the question give to us? No No So the answer over here will be uh, False 
Can even though it's one marks, but uh, you have to prove it. Okay. Next, what we have over here? If two to the power of four n divided by eight equals to two, so n here will be one. True or false? Apa benda ni? This is indices. True. Just substitute lah. 4 to the power of n. Uh, uh, 4 n is going to be if you substitute n with 1. You are going to get 4, isn't it? So, 2 to the power of 4. Use your calculator, girls. 16 divided by 8. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Faham tak ni? Oh, cikgu buat. Okay. Cik. Terangkan. Oh, okay. Okay. What we have over here? 2, uh, 4, to the power of 4 n divided by 8 equals to 2. The question give to us what? n equals to 1. Uh, this one given by the question, isn't it? Okay. So, we are going to determine, is it true or false? So, what I'm going to do here, I just copy back 2, 4, and here with 1. Then the others, divide by 8 equals to 2. So, 4 times 1, 4. So, you are going to have over here, 2 to the power of 4, divide by 8 equals to 2. By using your calculator, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Divided by 8 equals to 2. Is it true? True. Okay. Dah, 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 dah. Ah, ah. Tak, ini tak perlu buat uh, jalan kerja. <laughs> tak, saya nak kerja masa sebenarnya. Dah, nah, kan saya tengah record ni Nanti tengoklah balik Alah ah, Kan ah, Nabi dah tu masuk Bagi Azri tak masuk lagi kau Sabar-sabar ah. ha? So bagi Azri siapa nak terang nanti Bila saya nak terang Puh 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 Kawan awak cakap ada tu apa? Ah tu. Okay, we go for this one. Okay, can I proceed? Okay, for negative two, we are x is going to be more than and equals to negative two. Means that is it negative two is going to be included? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, is it three is going to be included also? <laughs> Not sure. Ni 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 ni. What does it mean by less than and equals to three? Kurang daripada tiga dan sama dengan tiga. So tiga termasuk tak? Masuk. And then this one more than negative two equals to negative two. So negative two also termasuk. Is it our x value going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3? Yes, it's true. Faham tak ni? Yes. Uh, true. This one no need to do any calculation. Can. Okay, next. Okay, we go for number 4 here. Diagram 1 shows a right angle triangle. Fill in the box with the correct value. Okay, this one please remember about so ka tua. Ah, pandai. Okay, so it's given over here our theta already over here. Theta. Okay. So, we are going to determine first for our what? Okay, 5 is going to be... Siapa tu? Ah, yes. 5 here will be our opposite. Ah, uh, 12 here will be our adjacent. Means what? 
Yes, we are going to find hypotenuse by using our Pythagoras theorem. So what you get? Yes, that is. Oh, aku dah lupa. Ha, sudah. Ah, because we are going to find hypotenuse. So 12 square plus 5 square, you're going to get 169 square root of 169. You're going to get 30. Okay, so straight away lah. Uh, so, opposite 5, hypotenuse 13. K, uh, adjacent 12, hypotenuse 13. Tangent, tua, opposite 5, adjacent 12. Wow, 4 mark. Boleh? Boleh. Okay. Okay, next number five. Draw a plan. What does it mean by plan? Your eyes is going to be up here. And you are going to see? Down. Bees. Atapa. Yes, bees. Okay. Ah, betul lah tu. Okay. First thing first, for the A here, our eyes is going to be up here. Oh. So you are saying that we are going to see the base first, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to have over here our square. Am I right? Yeah. Is it going to be the only answer? No. No. Why? Yes. Up here. Oh. You are going to get uh, the, 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 the 4 here, this one. Ah, so means that you are going to get the inclined one over here, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, so the inclined will be how many centimeters? Yes. So, by using your ruler, I just catch over here, yeah? Okay, I'm going to get my 6 times 6 over here. 6 times 6. Okay, and then I'm going to have over here what? I'm going to have our, uh, the blue one or our up here it will be here. Which means this is going to be 4 cm. The remaining here I'm going to get 2 cm. Total here I'm going to get 6 cm. Sorry. Times 6 cm. Can plus? Okay, next. B. Huh. How about B here? Your eyes is going to be up here. Of course, you are going to see the base down here, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> so, if the base down there, but <laughs> the upper one here is going to be bigger, isn't it? Yeah. So, how? Uh, it's going to be un. Un. An, 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 anti. <laughs> Unseen line. So it's going to be what? Do? Dotted ke dash? Dash line. Dotted line eh? Dash line. Ha, sama lah cikgu. Okay. <laughs> so you are going to have 5 times 5 centimeter. Isn't it? Okay. And then we are going to have in the middle here means that if uh, the, 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 the base is going to be 3 means that left and right is going to be 1 and 1. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, so that you are going to have 3 centimeter in the me in the middle here. Eh, kejap. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Hey girls, wait, wait, wait. Three centimeter there. If you look, this one also three, isn't it? So it's gonna be like that, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So means what? Means I'm gonna have ah, uh, alamak, cuma nasi nak buat eh. Oh, it is, you are going to get this one Like this Ah. Uh. 
for each of our side isn't it ah okay so you are going to get this one is 3 yeah inside here is 3 and it's going to be dash 9 okay so means that you are going to get like this oh right ah inside here is 3 times 3 cm outside here will be 5 times 5 cm ok macam mana eh? ok this one this one is going to be 3 so you have to uh, measure 1 cm 1 cm here you know 1 1 you are going to get 3 lepas tu dapat dekat sini tata lah dulu kan and then for this one pula 1 1 you tata dekat sini Ah, dah dapat kat sini 1 1 tata dekat sini dah dapat atas sini 1 1 tahu tak so on the right side, left side, up and below is going to be one, 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 one. Yeah. Everything here is going to be one centi, centimeter. So you are going to get three centimeter in the middle. Can class? Yeah. Ah, okay. Four marks given. Done for number five. Next, can I? Oh. Ah, can I? Ah, uh, this one. This one tak ada pun. B tak ada. A ada. Ha? A ada. Yes. A boleh label. Okay, sorry. A with labeling over here. Supposedly, I'm going to get this one first. F A down here. Ah, uh, this one only G. This one you are going to get B and C. Up here, I'm going to get uh, H. At the back here, you are going to get E D. Ah, uh, sorry. Forget to. You are going to see from up. So E first, then D. Uh. Okay. Then the centimeter, no need ah. The centimeter I just uh, put there because for your reference. Supposedly you are going to have by using your your ruler. Okay. So straight to our section C. Yes, because ah, if you look here, it's going to be 60 marks. Yeah, we are going to try to, to do this one, okay? Complete the Fibonacci numbers below. Oh, Fibonacci, how? Negative 1, no answer. 1, no answer. 4, no answer. 11. Hmm. Negative 1 plus 2, you're going to get 1. Right? Okay, so means that this one will be 2. 1 plus 3. So, 4 plus 7, we're going to get 11. Kan? Yeah. Tak faham? <laughs> okay, because we are going to get 1 over here. So, negative 1 plus 2. We are going to get 1 here. Okay, and then to get 4 here, you are going to have 1 plus with what number to get 4? 3. Sebelas tol. Oh, you are saying like this. From uh, 11 minus 4. Ah, ni, uh, itu, you are ambil daripada kanan ke kiri. From bigger number to the smaller number, of course, you are going to minus. This one, kita nak ambil daripada kecil ke besar, tambah. Boleh? Uh, okay, if you are saying, uh, friends said, 11 minus 4, we are going to get 7. Okay. Uh, but that one is from right to left ok girls can ok next B simplify A B over A minus A plus B over 2 ok instead over here what simplest form what does it mean by simplest form 
Ah, simplest form. Ah. <laughs> okay. So what should we do first over here? What must I do? First, because we have over here, uh, the denominator is A for the first one, and the second one is 2. Is it same? No. So we are going to make it the same. So what happened here? Okay, the first uh, one, you are going 2 times by 2. So we are going to get what? 2AB. Isn't it? Yep. Ah. Okay, this one be careful with the operation here because we have minus negative. Okay, this one for the second uh, fraction there, a plus b. We are going to times by a first. Okay, what does it mean? A a plus b like this. Can we need that sum? A, B, you are going to times by 2. Why? Because you are going to get this one 2A. And this one also 2A. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, the first fraction there, we are going to times by 2. Which means we, you are going to get 2AB. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. The second fraction here, I'm not going to do straight away. I'm going to do another there. Which means A times with A plus B. Then, Okay, so times first. A times A. A square. A. Ah, uh, sorry. This one I'm going to put negative A because we have the operation in front there. Okay, negative A times A, negative A square, negative A times B, negative A B. When we have this one, then I'm going to transfer here. Can. Okay, so how about our denominator now? Yes, you are going to get 2A. Can? Is it our simplest form already? No. Why? Because. 2 out. <laughs> 2 out. What does it mean by 2 out? Can we? Photon to A with 2AB. How come? Because that one is minus. If you are going to photon, you have to do what? Factorization. Uh-huh. So if you are going to factorization over here, what you are going to get for factorization? Hey, wait, 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 wait. First thing first, this one I want to have my like term first. Can. Because we factorize, this one I can, uh, what? Like terms, 2AB minus AB. 2AB minus AB, what do you get? Girl, 2AB minus AB. <laughs> Yes, we are going to get 1AB, isn't it? Means that we are going to write only AB. Minus A square over with 2A. Can you understand? Can. Okay, now. You are saying just now what? You are going to potong 2. How come you want to potong 2? No 2 there. Because potong 2 is the... I will try to get the 3. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Miscommunication. Uh, now, what should we do? Using? Factorize by using what method? How many methods if we want to factorize? You are suka tanya method, method. Uh, yes, lah. There are going to be four methods. Why is it? Four methods. I thought you all uh, what have a revision already for maths. Uh, yeah, form three lah. Eh no, uh, this is form two. Sorry. 
What I say, what I say, that it's gonna be relationship with our uh, previous syllabus. Yeah, previous, uh, previously I said right. Ah. Okay, so a carbon now. Okay, so how? Hey, how many method? Four. The first one is gonna be hasty head. The second one is gonna be our square. The third one is going to be by using my, uh, cross multiplication. The fourth one is going to be four algebraic terms. <laughs> Go back and have a better revision on your on your form too. This one. Ah, okay, this one I'm using the first method HCF. Why I using HCF? Because this one I have same one. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take out A first. And inside the bracket here, I'm going to get B minus with A. Isn't it? Ada orang tengok. Eh, cikgu macam mana cikgu buat? Okay, this one. A, B minus A square. Isn't it? So, if you are using HCF, kan macam ni? Ah, So, which one is going to be the same one? A. So, take out lah A. So what uh, is going to be here? B. This one got another A kan? So you're going to get A times with B minus A. Oh! Ah. Yeah. Which one? That one is expand. Uh, no, no, that one I, I just This one no need Because if you done this one No need to show this one Already in the calculation No, you know about missing F Straight away Straight away No need to, to show Okay, next You are going to have over here Over Over to A Now if you look over here what? A and A Isn't it? So your simplest form will be what? Yes. B minus A over to finish. Yes. Three marks given. <coughs> Done. Okay. C. Okay. This one we have one, two. Two. Okay. Two questions. One over here. Okay, this one is going to be 4 marks given. Okay. In the diagram, PQ is a straight line. Aha. Uh -huh. Form 3. Yeah. Find the gradient. How many methods we can find gradient? Formula lah. Two methods. <coughs> First will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The second method you can have by negative y intercept over x intercept. Huh? Ayo, you have your nilam book, isn't it? Yes. Look into your nilam book lah. It's not your exam day yet. Ayo. Okay, so for this one. Oh, this one. Yes, that one. <laughs> okay, girls. Uh, find the gradient of line PQ and the value of Y. Hmm. Can I find the gradient of PQ first? PQ. How? Ah, what is the coordinate for Q? Four zero. Yes, good. Four zero. P there? Huh? P. Negative six. Why? <laughs> Can. 
So how you are going to find the line uh, gradient of PQ? Ah, okay. You are saying that this one is going to be your P here is going to be X1, Y1. Q here is going to be X2, Y2, right? But my question is, I cannot find. Find what? Find the gradient because we didn't find our Y there. What? Yes. Ha. If you look over here, we have Y intercept and X intercept. It lies. Okay, if you look there, we have this uh, straight line, which is we have our over here is going to be our Y intercept. Over here, you have your X intercept. So, means that we can have our second method just now to find our gradient of PQ. You are going to have by using your, uh, your formula is negative Y intercept. What? 2 over X intercept 4. So, you are going to get what? Your gradient of PQ will be negative 1 over 2. That's your gradient. Right? Ah, ah formula. Ah, formula dia ada negative, eh? The formula must put negative. If you are using y intercept over x intercept, it must have negative in front. Okay. Now, what we have over here, we have our gradient. Now, by using the other method to find our gradient, we can find the value of our y. How? Ah, we are going to get over here y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals to our gradient negative 1 over 2. Am I right? Yeah. So y2 here, what is your y2? 0 minus y1, don't have only y over x2 is 4 minus x1 negative 6 substitute uh, okay so what happened here what happened here huh solve lah 0 minus y. Boy. 0 minus y, 0. Ahem. <laughs> Negative y. Over. This one what happened? Plus. So you got 10. Equals to negative 1 over 2. Am I right? Yes, you are right. <laughs> Bring 10 to the right side. What happened? Yes, we are going to have negative y equals to negative 1 over 2 times 10. What happened here? We can simplify. How? 2 and 10. 5. So you are going to get negative y equals to negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Is it your y answer? No, because that one is negative y. So, y equals to 5. 10, 10, 10. Ah. So, this one, do not forget about the many, many, many methods to find your gradient. The second one. 
Ah, this one one mark only. State the equation of straight line in the form of y equals to mx plus c. Uh -huh. Ah, if you look over here, what does it mean by here? We are going to identify our gradient. Did we have our gradient? Yes. And then you must have your what? C. Did we have our C? Hello, hello, look at my... What does it mean by C? Y Did we have Y intercept? Yes. So, just what to do here? Just substitute Y equals to M here, negative 1 over 2X. We have our C just now is to finish by looking at our first question just now. Oh, only one question finish. We have two, three, four, five, and six question. Wait, wait, well, now it's 8.27. We have another three more minutes. Uh, so when did your, your, your exam? Uh, okay, I stop this one first. Oh, 50 minutes.